Hey everyone, welcome back. In this SQL tutorial, we will start with the hands-on of the SQL training and we will create the database, then we'll create the table. So very basic commands that we need to follow and learn in order to create databases and tables within databases. So let's quickly understand. So this is all uh, available on my screen and I will also create a PDF for all of these slides once the course is complete and I'll share that with you guys okay so to show all the databases the command is show databases creating new databases is create database so create space database space the name of the database say for example you want to create a database for the employees then name will be you know like an employee or for students it's students so depending on what context of your database is you can name the database accordingly then once you create the database you need to use it right so say for example i created a database employee that means i'll be putting employee information into that database so to use it we have to switch to that database and the command is use space database name so whatever database name you have provided say for example employee then you you uh, fire the command use employee right then to create the table within database this is the command to display the table show tables getting the structure of the table deleting a table and deleting the database so all of these commands we are going to see and how you are going to practice these let's quickly go ahead and start with these so to start start first simply because we have already installed mysql so click on start and go to mysql so uh, you will see under the m here you will see a mysql right so if you click on this drop down you will see mysql command line client okay so this is the command line client wherein you can fire the command and create databases and do exactly what you will do in the mysql workbench okay so let's start with command line client first so i'll click on command line client okay and it will open the command line client if you don't want to go that way you can simply start typing in so i can say my sql in this search and you will see i'll get my sql workbench and in the apps i'll get the command line so command line client is what you need to open and then enter the password right so this password is the password that you have set up the root password while installing my sql okay so i will enter the password that i had put while installing and hit enter and you will be on this particular prompt okay so if it is at the mysql prompt that means you are logged in and you are good to go with all the commands that we see on this screen right so we know that to show the databases right so it, let's see what are existing databases in this instance here so we'll simply say show databases right and enter and you will see database information has been displayed so we have certain databases here that are being displayed so it says four rows in set okay now we want to create a new database right so say for example i want to create a database employee so to create a new database the command is create right it's pretty simple right it's simple english language right so create database right we want to what create what we want to create database so we'll say create database and then provide the name of the database right so create database what name so i'll say employee okay and semicolon enter right you will see this query okay one row affected that means basically the database has been created successfully now if i'll say show database again right then i'll see the employee is there in the database list as well right now before i can add tables so this is basically you can correlate something like this is say for example a container a employee is a container wherein i will be putting the employee information okay so say for example it's a box or it's a it's an almira with different compartments and in one compartment i'll be storing the employee personal information so for example employee first name last name age etc so there will be a table that i'll create in this compartment right so table will be personal information so what i have to do is this is say for example this is full almira the employee right this is the database this is full almira now within this almira there is a uh, i i need to create a compartment wherein i can keep the personal information right so what i'll do is that compartment can be a table or you can correlate with it with the table 
that will create in this compartment in this Almira, right? So to create a table wherein I can keep the personal information of the employee, the command is create table, right? But before that, before creating the table, we need to first open this Almira, right? Open this database or switch to this database, right? So before we go ahead and start creating the compartment, we need to get access to that database or Almira, okay? So what we have to do to get access, we simply have to fire the command use database, right? So you simply have to fire the command use and then the name of the database, right? So the database that we created is employee right so i'll say use employee right now you will see the message database changed okay so this shows that now we are using the employee database or we are in this particular container okay in this almira so in this container now i want to differentiate or basically i want to create different sections so to create a section uh, that is similar to creating the table in database in actual database we are creating a table right so we'll simply say create table right and provide the name of the table right similar to what the database was so in the table i will simply say personal info say for example i want to store personal information of the employee right and hit enter so i'm just switching the line here but you can write in the same line okay just to keep it more bit uh, you know clean so now in this table so correlated with the excel uh, excel column right so in the table when you create a table you have rows and columns right so each in each column what you want to store so basically employee will have employee id they will have first name they will have last name so we can have id name age etc their personal information right so i can say first column as id okay so provide the column name there right and then we have this data type right so id will be say for example integer and id should not be null okay and i'll explain all of this in detail so we provide it as not null and we say that id should be unique for the employee so we'll say primary key right comma and then next column which one which i want to create is name okay so i'll say name is varchar and the length of the name that i want to store in brackets the length of the characters that acceptable okay and i want this to be not null as well right and then the age okay so age is integers and bracket close and that's it so this is the basic command which will have three columns so it will create a table which will have three columns id name and age and each row will hold the information of a particular employee similar to excel sheet right so something similar so once you hit enter you'll see query okay that means the table has been created successfully right now to show this table that has been created the command is show tables right so it will basically display all the tables that are there in this database right so if, if i say show tables it will show that there is a table in employee which has the name personal info because we just created it right so it displays this particular table okay now if you want to see the details of the table how the table is being created what all columns are there there is a command describe describe table right so describe which table describe this personal underscore info so i want to see the details of this table how many rows and columns are there so i can simply say describe personal info table right and hit enter and you will see that it describes the field that are there so basically the columns what type of values will be stored here so id will hold integer name is varchar uh, age is integer and whether they'll have no null uh, acceptable there what are the keys so constraints basically these are the constraints so which will cover in a lot more detail but as of now just remember that this is how we'll be basically creating the table and looking at the details of the table right now this is basically how you are going to create the table and describe the table okay now once you have created the table what is the command to delete the table you'll you'll be deleting the table as well and you'll be deleting the database as well right so to delete the table what we need to do is we simply say drop right so drop table and provide the table name so say for example i want to drop this personal info table right so i'll simply just copy this personal info okay and paste it here 
so drop table personal info and you will see query okay so that means the table has been dropped if i'll say show tables again then you will see that empty set there are no tables at the moment in this particular database all right now to drop the database altogether so let me show the database let's see the database so database employees there now if i want to drop the database so the command is drop database and the database name so if i want to drop this employee database i'll simply say employee right drop database employee and semicolon hit enter and you will see query okay that means the database has been dropped successfully if i'll say show databases again now there is no employee database in there okay so this is basically how you are going to work with the commands sql commands to create the database see the details of the database what all databases are there use the database create table then see the details of the table drop table etc okay this is from the command line now from mysql workbench as well so if i say for example i'll go to mysql right so i'll say mysql workbench right so let me open that mysql workbench you can do all of this through mysql workbench as well so simply open that create a uh, open this you know local instance and here i can simply follow or type in the same commands right so to start writing the query right so you simply click on this sql create a new sql tab for executing queries okay so i simply open that all right and here i can type in the same command so i can say so uh, show databases and then simply select this and click on this execute the selected portion of the script right so if so basically if you highlight over here it will whatever you have highlighted it will execute if there is no selection say for example and i click on this whatever is there it will execute all of that okay so you'll see it has displayed the database information there right now i can similarly i can create or run any other command so if i want to create database from here I'll simply run create database right and the name of the database say for example I want to create the employee database right and then run the query okay it says database exists so let me uh, show because I deleted that show databases oh, okay so I think it got created first time so let me drop it and then again create it okay so I'll say drop database okay and then drop it so when i executed this first time i think it already created so that's why all right and i can then again come to the next line and i'll say show databases now here what i can do is i can simply select this if i just want to run the highlighted query select that and run the highlighted one so it will show me the database here so there there is no employee database now let me create the employee database again right so i'll say create a database employee and then run just this query so i'll highlight this query and run it and it should uh, create that database now if, if i again say show databases it should show the employee database right so you'll see employee database has been displayed so basically mysql workbench or the command line whichever is comfortable for you we will we'll mostly work with mysql workbench but then i wanted to show you the command line thing as well both will solve similar purpose mysql workbench is sort of meant and is more sort of advanced with all the features loaded to do all the database base management through mysql workbench so we'll be using mysql workbench and we'll be efficiently learning sql in upcoming tutorials so that's all for this tutorial i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching